this program. Who's now that part of the program when we show <laughs> Hey everybody, it's Brick Something. I just got a big pile of loot shipment from Big Bad Toy Store come in today. Woohoo! Good stuff in here. Figured today I'd kind of just open this up and it'll serve as sort of a preview of what might be coming up on Unbox Something in the next couple of weeks. I've still got a back catalog of some older things too that I kind of want to share with y'all. So this is just going to add to that long running queue. I guess just sit back, check out what came in today. Here we go. Uh, it's been a while. I've been sitting on this pile of loot for a couple of months now and just sort of let it sit. Got some pre-orders coming in here from, geez, maybe as far back as like September, maybe even August. I don't know. I'll have to double check on that. But uh, let's check it out. <laughs> Always super exciting to see what's inside the box. Right on. Okay, so right off the bat, I can see uh, the first Masterverse figure that I've gotten in a little bit. Ooh, and some Mythic Legions up in here. So this is my first Masterverse figure in a while. I think the last one I actually got might have been Zodak, and I don't think I've posted that uh, video quite yet. Um, Hero, which was an awesome unreleased figure in the Vintage line. So I think it's super rad that they came out with Hero in Masterverse. And I actually think he looks really good. And we'll take a look at him when I unbox him. Interestingly enough, I still am missing Battle Armor He-Man and Jitsu and Sun Man. Sun Man's technically on pre-order from Target, but y'all know how that goes. So there you go. Next up, we got some Mythic Legions. I've got a uh, Legion builder here that I was a little bit late on getting, but I, I needed him because I have a couple of parts that I want to paint up and use this body for. So stoked to finally have him. I probably won't be able to actually have a proper paint set up until the summer, but I'm getting the pieces in ready to go. So that's cool. Even more Mythic Legions. Oh man. So classic collector, I wasn't planning on getting all four of the Horseman characters from Mythic Legions. You know how that goes. I had Aerithir, which you probably saw on the channel. You saw me unbox that. Um, I've got Poxus on pre-order. And when I saw Necronominus, I was just like, man, I got to have him. So of course I got to have the horses. I do have my Aethon for Aerithir. I've been sitting on that and haven't unboxed it yet. Naturally, when I ordered from Necronominus and Poxus, I had to get the horses too. And so I said, you know what? F it. Let's go ahead and um, complete these four horsemen and their steeds. And so that's where she comes in. It's Alithia. She looks amazing. And we'll take a look at her when I unbox it. So keep an eye out for that. Of course, I couldn't just get Alithia, right? The whole point is to get the four horse men. I can't have a Lithia without her steed, right? So we'll take a look at Phobos when I open them up um, soon. So again, keep an eye out for that. Let me go ahead and show this because this one is totally and completely new to me. Woohoo! Um, this is from a line called Astrobots came across this um, in November, sort of right around Thanksgiving. You know, when you're on vacation and you have a little too much time to kind of look at what's out there and uh, saw some reviews of this line and quickly ordered the main figures and saw this drone that is actually kind of an accessory. It in and of itself is a sort of standalone toy, but it's also a set of accessories and you can see here you can take it apart and it can become weapons for the robots it can become a backpack with sort of armaments on it so super excited about this this is definitely something new for my shelf completely new line and so I may not collect everything in a line I'm not a completist by any means but I am a bit of a curator and dabbler in different action figure lines. So I, I got to know what Astrobots is about, right? Totally scratches that itch in terms of cool robots. Could absolutely, at least in my brain, go up against, you know, She-Ra and Hordak and a couple of Mythic Legions characters and eventually some Cosmic Legions characters. 
Animal Warriors of the Kingdom. It's a mishmash on my shelf of high tech, low tech, fantasy, magic, science. So, Astrobots. This I'm super excited about. So these are from a line that I have had a little bit of a, a experience with, with Ambulus, right? I guess that's his name. Woo so joining him will now be some friends. So first up, we've got Berenice, the Macedonian spear. Always hyped to get some um, dope women figures on my shelf. She'll be hanging out there with that guy. We've also got Vlatia coming in, the K9. Again, looking tough. So we're going to take a look at her, and we'll look closer at this in the next couple of weeks. Stoked to also get like folks with you know different pigmentation and melanin between the three of them. Look at the three of them right there. Right here we've got Tadala. Or Vespid. Man, the hair on this one looks dope. This comes with a, a helmet head, which is pretty cool. You can see it there. Really excited about these. And then two more. We've got some trainees. Yeah, again, normally I don't, I'm not a big completist, but this line is hitting all the right boxes for me. Kind of fits into the fantasy um, realm. And, you know, my shelf is a mix of science fiction and fantasy. Plus, man, look. Like, we've got all sorts of, like, melanated folk. Look at that, right? Look at that skin tone. Not quite the same, but, hey, it's just nice to get a variety of folks here to hang out with uh, Ambulus there. And then this dude. Who's this? Another trainee. Nameless trainee. Um, the sculpts on these are amazing. Again, wasn't planning on completing this line, but you know what? They keep coming out with things that interest me. Again, just checking off those boxes. They're giving us a variety, different looks, different looking humans, skin tones, facial features, weapons, skills, like armor. So super excited. And, and that'll bring us to the sad reality of an empty box. So there you go. So thank you again, Big Bad Toy Store. I don't get paid for any of this. It's not an advertisement. Much to the chagrin of my family and my wallet. So on that note, I do got bills to pay. And clearly I'm buying way too many toys. So if you could do whatever you can to help support the channel, I'd really appreciate it. Just a reminder, I do have a Redbubble shop where I actually design shirts and sell them. So if you really want to support the channel and show folks that you're down with Brick Something, I'd really appreciate it if you'd buy one of those. I've got a Modi Collector shirt, which is kind of fun. I've even got shirts that show my love for Helvetica, as well as paying homage to some of my favorite music groups, toy groups, superhero teams, you name it. Ooh, I've got dope photos that I've been taking of one of my most favorite places on earth, a feast for the eyes. Just go and check those out. You'll see what I mean. Anyways, all of that helps this channel. So thanks again for checking out this latest toy haul. I can't wait to properly unbox these goodies with you. So keep an eye out on the channel for announcements. You can get to the channel real easily by going to www.bricksomething.com and consider following me on Instagram at brick.something. And if you're on Facebook, check me out. I'm listed there as Brick Solo. So that's it. Until the next video. And once again, thank you for hanging out with me and checking out the videos here on Brick Something please consider hitting the like button and subscribing. If you're looking for even more of a toy fix right now, see the link to the left to check out a fellow member of the Legion of Lesser Toy Tubers. Gracias por ver este video. Salamat sa inyong lahat. And as always, peace and power.